All right, thank you for joining me for another one. Um, I came here originally just to uh, see about making a records request in regards to um, the public works department. They, I went there, visited that um, two videos ago, and um, they told me to come over here, and I, I had to make my records request here, which I was told that I needed to make it uh, through them directly, but I don't know if it's changed or, or what, but we got reserve for Ken Smith, the council member, Chris, assistant city administrator, Joey, and you're wondering why if I'm here to make a records request that, uh, why am I in the parking garage? Funny place to be, right? In the parking garage. Well, so I pulled up outside where the public parking is, even though the public can park in here. That is okay. Um, I pulled up, and like almost every time I pass by, there's an officer's car that is sitting. Uh, or parked, not sitting. I guess it doesn't sit, right? Um, it parked in the area in front of the city center. Well, I would think that the parking would be more for the public, right? Um, to be able to utilize. But they want to. Look at me. But reserved. Reserve. So even if I wanted to come over here, right, and park, okay, it says reserved for police vehicles. So, I mean, y you guys uh, already take up other parking spots, so there's not a lot. So I would appreciate if you left the parking that's up on the main floor for the people themselves to park. We've got vehicle 333. We've got dark tented front window. Um, I'm gonna say that the windshield is solid tent as well because that laptop should be a little bit brighter. Um, yeah, kind of go that route. You know, we'll have to ask. Type three three three. So we got the computer on. We're not looking to get anybody's information or anything like that, but that laptop should be closed, all right? They have the job of securing people's personal information. It's not us. I can't get in trouble for going over there and recording it, but they can get in trouble for it being open. So we'll address that. Here's an unmarked. Got window tent on the front. See, this windshield's not tented, right? You see how, how much easier you can see on in there? Versus that one over there. That's unlawful, guys. They don't have laws that say that they can do that. They have to follow us, and they don't have anything that says that they can get away from that, see? Here's an undercover, no tent on the front, there is tent on this window, it's light, I mean, that, that, that's doable, right, I mean, you can still see who's inside of there and stuff, um, so, but, look, here's my thing, right, guys, okay, it's an undercover, let's walk around, let's make sure, no markings, right? No markings. No markings. Yeah, little lights there. But you see this right here, right? You got this right here, and they've got another one in the back. Uh, let's go to the back. Right. There, you guys see that, right? So that's for sitting on the side of the road and doing tra traffic enforcement, okay? Well, Traffic enforcement 
traffic enforcement is not supposed to be done by an unmarked vehicle. Okay? That's not how it works. If you ever get lit up by an unmarked vehicle, legally you don't have to stop. And they have to get a marked vehicle to actually pull you over. Nor is this guy, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into the details of it. We'll, we'll get onto that in, in a totally different video another day. Um, I see a pack of Marlboro right there. Um, and it, I see what looks like some ash and stuff. I mean, I really hope they're not smoking in my truck. I wouldn't like that. I mean, they got enough time outside of the vehicle. They don't have to, because, you know, when they arrest somebody, right, that person's got to sit in that vehicle. And I'm a non-smoker. A lot of people are non-smokers. Um, so to go ahead and smoke in, in a vehicle, even, even if it is an undercover and they don't have anybody ever in there, right? I mean, rules are rules. If I walk up to that vehicle and speak to them and a cloud of smoke comes pouring on out, that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. So... Here's another undercover vehicle that they have. They got some hand sanitizer. It looks like a vest for when they're out doing street patrol and a bunch of other stuff. I might have seen a thing of ice all in there. So that's cool. All right, well. We've done walked around here. Another one, see? Look at all these undercovers, right? Look at them all. There's tons of them. Got the, got the little light over there. Got the tent on the window. No markings, no identification. So if I'm in a struggle and something's going on or something, I see something going down and I, I, I'm looking all over, man, I wish there was an officer out here. I wish there was an officer here. Then I wouldn't know that's an officer. I mean, I would because look at it. Not many people drive that, right? Um, for the most part. But, you know, without markings, how do we know? How, how do we really know? Look, here's another one. Guys, they have got so many unmarked vehicles that it, it, it's hard to really even say that they're here for the people, right? I mean, what are they trying to do? What are they trying to do? This isn't an unmarked, this is actually a city of Morristown car. No smoking in the garage, so hopefully they don't smoke in the, in their vehicles either. Another undercover. No markings. Got the lights. You know, so guys, we got to change. Here's here's a code enforcement. Uh, taking sign or putting signs up and taking them down. They leave the ones that they want to leave, and then they take the ones that they want to take that they disagree with. Because I've seen signs sitting out for months, and they're always just sitting right there. Until somebody comes by and wants to take it. So they've got that door open. I believe this is where they may bring people through. So these bicycles over here. All right, let me give you a little backlog on these bicycles. One day, my son and I, we were here doing a records request, and we walked on out, and uh, my son noticed these bicycles sitting over here, so we took a walk over here. They're not cheap bikes. I think they paid like uh, $2,300, $2,500 a piece for them or so, I believe is what the records request said. 
dust. I ain't never seen these bikes. If you guys have seen these bikes used in the city of Morristown, please comment below. I'm not expecting many comments about that because I've only seen them one time and that was the following week that we made that request, okay? Driving down the street, they had this thing going on at the park. Well, it was just about them to be closing on up and we noticed all the bikes were across the street. So, made a U-turn, legal, legal U-turn, and I went ahead and pulled up to them with my video camera. Um, I'll have to pull up that footage sometime. And uh, I was like, oh wow, I was like, you guys are out here on the bikes. I don't know if you guys can see it through that dirty, dirty window, but look, this thing has a roof on it, okay? Well, that's a shadow, okay? It has a roof on it. There's like a transformer in there. I see three, three, maybe four trees growing in there. So eventually it's gonna break the concrete. It's gonna go, that one's actually, I think, uh, going through the roof. So, when that breaks, who spends the money, right? It's our money, okay? It's not, oh, well, uh, you know, it happens. No, that's a lack of maintenance. Okay, here, look, look, here we go. Look, you guys see the tree sticking out? Look, you see that branch? There's another one over there. There's one in the back. Yeah, that needs to be uh, addressed. So, this is the car that I was talking about, right? There's always a car sitting here, always. And you can't say, oh, well, so that they can get out quicker and go. They got a long way to, oh, look, they got a window open and during the day. They've got a long way to run out here before they can get to the car. This is our parking. They got their own parking inside, you know? Um, so let's make our way inside and actually make this records request. All that was just a little bit of additional footage, but please comment on anything. Um, let's get that out there. Let's get it known. You know, I came by, I've been here a few, quite a few times, um, a few times with you. And uh, I just realized the other day while watching my footage, just to make sure we got everything clear, that there is a rope on this bell. So, for all y'all, hope that wasn't too loud. I'm gonna have to start doing that every time I come in here. I'm gonna ring that bell. Let them know that Tony is on his way. So, let's go ahead and come on in here. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm here to uh, talk to Cindy. Alright, and your name? I'd rather not give it. Alright. You're good to go? Thank you. Hello. Good, now you're good. Is Cindy around? Yeah, give me one second. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so I was down at the uh, public um, works department yeah. and they called you. Um, I think the last time that we had spoken in regards to the different entities that I had to make a request through each of them individually. No, I have never, our policy doesn't allow for that. It all requests come through the coordinator and that's me. Okay, um, so I'm a little bit confused and I've been doing this a while, okay? Um, I, I know you're not a fan of um, the camera, but we've worked around that. Um, but I would like the people to know where they need to go 
to get what kind of requests for where. So if you could speak loud enough so that they can hear you, so that they know if they want to go and make a request themselves, they come to this building for this and they go anywhere else for anything else. Could you explain that to them? Any records request that has to do with city business comes here to this office. Okay, so I guess where I, where I was wrong was, so the Morristown Utility System even though they work through the city of Morristown, I have to go there for a records request. That's correct. Okay, is there any place else that is a city building that I would have to go to directly to request Morristown any? Morristown Utilities is not a city building. Okay. So any department under the city of Morristown, you'll come to through the city of Morristown. Okay, so other than the Morristown utility system, is there any other one that I might misconstrued as being a city of Morristown building? Is there anything else? I don't, I, I don't know, Tony. I, okay. I don't know. Okay, so the, the city um, highway department, do I go? City public works department? Yes. Which you were at and you told them that I, wanted I to make told a, you to go out there? That's what I thought you had. That, no, I have never said that. Okay, well, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm here asking you, right? Uh, that, that, because okay. I, I'm misinformed. Can you, can you hold on just a minute? Sure, go ahead. I'm going to pause this a second. I don't know how long she's going to take. I'll be right back as soon as I see her walk through this door. All right. Anything else? Is there any business we need to do? Did you need to fill out a records request? Um, I will go ahead and I will do that online, um, if that's okay. Online as in? I, I, I'll shoot you an email. Okay. All right. Um, because, yeah, there's a couple of things that I do want to request on that. And, um, I, you know, I just thought that one of our past uh, conversations, no. and I may have misunderstood that, um, like we've talked about before, I, I didn't know about all the different. Been the policy here at the city? Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Cindy. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right. So if you need to make a request um, for public records, be sure that uh, I guess come here. Um, unless it's for the Morristown Utility System. Um, I guess you come here. That's that, that's what I was just told. So, uh, which is great. I mean, coming to one place is much better than going to a bunch of different places. Uh, I don't know if that's because they're trying to keep maybe people from visiting those locations. Um, or maybe there's nobody staffed there at the office or anything like that. So see now, they have this bench out here, right? This is your standard bench. If y'all remember, from the public works department, they had one that was handicapped accessible. I mean, you got all this space. You'd think that maybe they'd have more than one. Um, never seen anybody sitting on any of them benches. But from the Morristown City Center, it's a little extra video that we kind of threw in there, but we touched on some bases. And we'll go from there. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And like this video so that I know you're interested in what I'm doing. Thank you all for viewing.